Does your department or your organization have a strategy, an actual codified document that sets out the decision criteria and guiding principles that everyone should be using to make choices? That's what a strategy is. It's actually a set of guiding principles. It's not a whole collection of projects or 17 priorities, but that's what most organizations have. They don't have the insight that comes with strategy about, mm, when I come upon this situation, how should I think about it? What choice should I make? No, they just have do these 13 projects. And that's really a plan and a bunch of tactics and probably it's got a budget attached to it, but it's not in any way, shape or form a strategy. So one thing you wanna do is put your entire strategy on one piece of paper. I call it the strategy map. At the top, what's our purpose as an organization? And right beneath it, what are our three, three, four small number of strategic goals that will determine it, whether we've future-proofed ourselves. At the next level, a little strip of here are the most important opportunities and threats we're watching in the environment. And then you can have in big, 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 bright, beautiful print in catchy language, your strategy. What are the imperatives? How does your organization need to think differently? Just having goals around your operational or organizational health is not sufficient. And it's also not going to guide strategic thinking. So you need a set of goals that I would call strategic goals, and they are about the future health of your organization. And when I say health, I really mean about existential kinds of questions. Are we setting ourselves up to be able to capitalize on the opportunities that will come in the environment and to mitigate threats that may be, <laughs> that may be coming at us? So that's the kind of measure you want in a strategic goal. So we always wanna put the opportunities and threats, that external conversation, put that first. That's really, really, really valuable. And it will get you paying attention to more things, a broader and more diverse set of trends. That's gonna improve the quality of your strategic planning. So start with getting two or 300 key trends societal, political, economic, regulatory, industry, customer needs, technology advances, all of it, um, and get those mapped before you then turn to the second question, which is, all right, what are our biggest strengths as an organization and our biggest weaknesses as an organization? The strategic imperative is an insight you have about how you need to change the trajectory of your business, how you need to change how you make decisions, how you're shifting the guiding principles in your organization to achieve your purpose and your strategic goals in the environment you're operating in, given your current strengths and weaknesses. So we've just added up all the things that are above the strategy on the strategy map, purpose, strategic goals, opportunities, threats, strengths, and weaknesses. All of it together becomes the, the so what of, of strategy. 